Would you believe me if I told you that we built this image scroll effect using absolutely no code and no plugins, just the free version of Elementor? Well, you don't have to believe me because I'm going to show you exactly how to do this right now. It actually took us forever to figure out how to create this without any code or plugins, but we cracked it and yes, it is responsive on both mobile and desktop. So if you want to see more exciting Elementor case studies, then make sure that you watch my latest video on creating a vertical image scroll using Elementor. One more thing before we start, later in this video, I'll also show you how you can download this section as a ready-made template and just import it straight into your Elementor website for free. So let's get started. Let's scroll down to the carousel and I'm really excited to show you this as the gallery creates this really awesome effect. However, let's build this together. So I'll delete and start again. And then in the container, um, we'll make it full width. Now search for the image carousel and then drag it in to your container. I'm just going to select a bunch of images for my gallery and then go ahead and insert it in. These images need to be bigger, so we'll set it to full resolution and we'll just um, show five images at a time. You can change the slide scroll to four and I don't want any navigation on my images. I'd like it to be clean. And then in the additional options, we need to switch off autoplay as well as infinite loop. Now go to style and we're going to change the image space to 15 pixels. And we'll also create a tiny border radius of five. That'll do. So our gallery will have three columns, but instead of just adding more images, we're going to duplicate the galleries instead. You'll see why we do this in a moment, but you can go ahead, switch out all of your images so that each row has a different set of images. Okay, so here's our gallery, but it's static at the moment. It's not moving. So now we're going to need to add in our animation effect. So click on the first gallery, then go to advanced, and we're going to turn on scrolling effects. We'll change the speed of the scroll to 2.5, and we're going to keep the scroll going to the left. Great, so now you can see that it's moving very nicely. But if we take a look and we go into a uh, full screen, you can now see that it's creating this gap on the end of the screen over here. So to fix it, we're going to go to layout and then we're going to add in a negative margin of 90. And we need to add this to the right as well as to the left. So just place in, make sure you make it negative. And you can see now it removes that gap and that's looking pretty good. So go ahead and copy these settings of the gallery and then we need to paste it onto both galleries like this. So if we look at our gallery, you'll notice it's not working on the other two rows. So now we need to click on the second gallery and then go into advanced and under motion effects, we can change the direction to go to the right. Okay, so now if we scroll up and down, that's looking pretty good. But the third gallery is still not responding. So go in there and we're just going to update the scroll speed like this. And basically you just need to change the number and then put it right back. And as you can see, it's now working. Okay, so just a small detail, the gaps between the images are not the same. So we're going to go to advanced and we're just going to give it a top and a mar bottom margin of negative five. And there is our gallery. So I hope you like this as much as I do. I think this is a really nifty effect. If you want to save time and import this template onto your own site, then this is how you can do that. In the description below, you'll find a link which will take you to this page. Click on the ready to import and then go into your Elementor page and I'll delete the gallery we just built. Click on the add and then add in a folder and go to templates and you can upload the JSON file that you downloaded previously. Once it's imported, you can go ahead and insert it into your page and then magic, it works just like that. 
I have more how I built these videos coming up where you can learn cool elemental tricks for your next web design project. Take a look at this video for example.